the hound. What any vodka? Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now. Wanna hit the lawn, eh? Rustle up some booze. Wait a spell. Didn't see it myself, but they say he grabbed him by the cloak and bam, right in the chops, right in the chops, see? <laughs> He's Drinks enough for a whole platoon since his family disappeared. Fucks on a lot of you. Slurps a jug of charred spirit. What are you doing? Where are you chopping this? I'm fashioning a new model. Two piece. What's gotten into you again? Wait and see. Just a minute. Baron Schmarin.
faster. Draw your weapon. Come on now. Let's dance. Go for the whore son's eyes! Fucking bastard!
Come on, Roach. <coughs> Faster. Get the old bugger, you'll Open see. Bastard deserves to hang. Hey, <sighs> Some strays wandered our way. Sod off, freak. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm. Well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. A tea of mullein leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Out of my sight. Hmm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. My old lady will know. Got a knack for herbs, she does. The other shot, Mallow, ought to have that too. Chops it, adds it to our milkers' feed. <laughs> hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay. No, nay, Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess, my goat! She's fled. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat, impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, princess, where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. 
But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
not bad. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn.
This way, I think. Let's go see the Beller. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, take you back to the Beller. Misses you something awful. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, damn it. you go. <laughs> there, proud this area. Good thing I ran into him earlier. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat. Tomorrow now, know where they might be. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Do.
innocent blood. Whose? No one. No Tamar. Just the child. A child that lives not, yet did not die. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got.
So long. Faster. Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! And whosoever <laughs> finds the Baron's daughter will not go unrewarded. What the Baron like you do? Last fingers, dogs, blood. Should all be flogged like a now. Lightning strike. Let's go! like rain. Fool tottering about again. I set the stable. Don't calm man. him down. You've got to put it out. Oswin, where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire? You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple? Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Well, Hussey, what will you say now? That's it. Baron, sir. Completely burned. Calm yourself before you burn. You. You, where do I know you from, eh? Ah, right, the Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? 
Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! We need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Doesn't much matter now. I know how to find them. How? I know about the baby. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. 
And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up. And empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. It goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the ass before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. It's wrong! 
driving something fierce. Can't hold it. Calm it somehow. Damn thing's gonna burn. Uh -huh. Give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely sp Damn it, will you? Good. The grave. What's that? Watch the. <sighs> Get back. <sighs> Give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Uh huh. Here's the spot. Chose a lot. Good. The gr What's. Botch the. <sighs> Get back. <sighs> Child. Can't be. Watchlings. 
scent attracted them. The graves dug up. Botch things on. Get back. You're gonna make me wait. Here's the spot. Chose a good. The gr What's the botch thing? <sighs> Get back. How do you like that silver? <laughs> Sent attracted them. Just wonderful. Make me wait. Great. The specters. Watch the set attract them. Damn it. Hell. 
You killed my child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you, not kill it. Forgive me, it couldn't be avoided. I truly am sorry. Yeah, sure. Like hell you're sorry. Calm down. Go home. With a bit of luck, I'll be back soon with news of your family. What... what will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Don't stop raining, my ass will rot off. Let's go! White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Blood. 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 The Pella knows. Knows the ritual. Ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. Right. Let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The White Wolf must follow the pillar. The pillar will show the way. We got a long way to go? No, it's not far. Through the village, <laughs> then the wood, and there we will be. This the Baron's land? Tis now. Twere not before. So who'd it belong to? To the Lord. Serard, they called him. 
An evil man he were. Vile. Cared not a lick for common folk. You all get together and drive him away? When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the Tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields afire, and a great hunger descended on us all. While the Lord in abundance wallowed, there in the Tower of Mice. But the old gods, in their ire, upon him visited a punishment. A plague of rodents swarmed the Isle. At first, they ate all from the feast tables. Then, the Lord and all his court they devoured. Local gods just aren't known to be tolerant. Elf Guardians hit you pretty hard. Oh, the Where the might can themselves with the poor. The invaders will be punished. That's sure. If they've already been. How's that? A pestilence grips their camp and will devour them all, as the mice devoured the Lord's court. It is not far now. Nearly there. Nearly there. What is this place? Shh. The Wolven Glade. Nice name. White Wolf should feel right at home. The White Wolf. Aye, good balance. For terrible things happened here of yore. To this day, none dare mention the name aloud. Here. The place. What now? Light the fires. All right. No reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. the circle. By the powers of earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home, I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it. Supposed to keep the fires lit. Blood of her blood, I see them bound. The blood calls. I'm leaving Philip. Tamara's coming with me. I see a face pulsing with blood. Blood! Dark upon a pale visage. A drop trickles over bright gold. I am fist grasped. I am dark in blood beneath a white nail. I am a tear of blood. <laughs>
blood of her blood, I see them bound. The blood summons me. A thick flow upon skin, dark blood upon a light stone. I am the unnamed. I am blood immersed in blood. I... I am dead. Show me the blood that is your blood. Show me the blood that is lost. The blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. The blood leaves her face. Thorny boughs snag her. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Wojtek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child of Elder Blood? Nay, is the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of Elder Blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? You all right? <coughs> yes. Is it over? It's done. The Pella's seen what he was meant to say. Third vision seems most important. Mm, they were walking through the woods, both weak, but for different reasons. Yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Wojtek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Hmm. And the prophecy at the end? is Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits. The spirits speak through the ritual, not he. This Wojtek from your vision. Know him? Wojtek. Wojtek. Two Vortex have we near about. In Black Bow lives one. In his hut, there he stays, has for years. Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he could remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. Time I was on my way. Thanks for your help. Refuse? Why, the Pella could never have refused. A man seeks to do good in life, but evil is unavoidable. The ones who encounter evil, why, they must be helped. Fare thee well, and may the gods bless and keep you. Take it easy.
Get him. You see, here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Wojtek. I... I... They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my young'uns. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height. About twenty. Her mother's thin, about forty. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of ye. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, to the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. 
married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is.